Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you a bit about the Carrick Band. The Carrick Band is not terribly popular among the paracord craftsmen, but in my opinion, it still deserves a spotlight. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a few things about the Carrick Band that you may not know. So with this said, let's jump right into the video and get acquainted with the Carrick Band. Here you can see the Carrick Band. As you can see, it basically looks like two loops interwoven one into the other. It has a diamond shape at the center, making it fairly easy to be recognized. Now, let's take a look at the uses for the Carrick Band. When working with rope, bands are usually used to join pieces of rope together. So the Carrick band probably does not surprise when you learn that it can be used to join two pieces of rope together. When you join two pieces of rope using the Carrick band, you are going to get a nice shape like this. So it basically looks like a small mat. But when you put some strain onto the ends, the form is going to get distorted. Something like this. It still holds the two pieces of rope together, but it loses its form. When tying the Carrick band, it is optimal to have the two tail ends diagonally opposite to each other. This is much more secure than if you had the two tail ends on the same side. Here you can see a less secure version of the Carrick band which has the two tail ends on the same side. The second use for the Carrick band is not common in the paracord crafts. But in crafts like macrame, the Carrick band, also known as the Josephine knot, is used as a decorative knot, usually where the strands are not going to get under a lot of stress which would distort the knot. Finally, the Carrick band is also one of the later steps in tying the lanyard knot. So after you tie the Carrick band, all you do is you take the two tail ends and you run them past these two strands and through the center to get the lanyard knot. So for example here, you would take the top tail end, go past this strand, then under and through the middle. The tail end on the bottom left travels past this top strand, so past, then under and through the middle. Then pull on all of the ends to tighten up. And what you're going to get is the lanyard knot. One of the most essential knots that you use in your paracord crafts. The first way of tying the Carrick band is the most basic. You take one end of your rope and you twist it into a loop, like this. Then you pick up the other end and you place it over the loop. Then, using the end, you travel under this strand, then over the next, then going under, over, under. Under, over and under. And with this you have tied the Carrick Band. It's that simple. The second way is the way that I usually use when I'm trying to tie the lanyard knot, which starts with the Carrick Band. In this case, I start with my left strand, which is coming out of a bracelet for example, 
and I twist it into a loop. I take the right strand and I place it under the loop this time, like this. Then I weave with my second strand through the strands. So over, then under, over, under, over. And this way I again tie it a Carrick band and it is quite easy to transform it into the lanyard knot. You take the top right strand, so the top right tail, pass it over this strand, then under and through the center of the Carrick band. Take the other tail, so the one on the bottom left, Pass it past this strand, then under and through the center of the Carrick band. Tighten up, and you have a lanyard knot. One additional, super useful technique is how to enlarge the Carrick band into a larger knot. This is rarely shown, so I'm going to demonstrate it here. So first, let's tie the Carrick band. So you take one piece of cordage, and you make a loop. You take the other end, place it over the loop, then weave it through the strands. Under, over, under, over, under. Like this. So, the Carrick band. Now, turn it around. Like this. So, we have one loop facing down and one loop facing up. To enlarge the Carrick band, pull the loop facing down a bit out, like this, then twist it to get the same shape as it does here. So I'm going to twist it towards the right side, like this, then I'm going to place this left end under the loop, then weave the right end through it. So first I'm going to work a bit of my ends out, just to make my job a bit easier. Then place the left end under the loop, like this. Take the right end and weave it through the three strands. Over, under, over, like this. And with this we have tied a longer version of the Carrick band. Basically, it mimics the four-stranded braid. Now we can do this several times. Again, first you pull out a bit of the loop that is facing down. Then you twist it the same way that you did before, so towards the right side. Then you place the left end under the loop and weave through the three strands using the right end. And with this we have yet again enlarged the Carrick band. So guys, at this point we came to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned at least one new thing about the Carrick band. Thank you very much for joining me and see you next time.